Hi, good day. This is Philip Boyson from Pi Guy Training, and in this video, I'm going to explain how you can set up and use uh, Selenium under Python um, so that we can do some automated browser actions and start automating um, surfing or browsing the web and whatever might go with that. So, first of all, um, I'm going to be working off Anaconda installation on Windows. So, the question might become what is Selenium? It's a web automation framework that allows you to execute your tests against different browsers. In short, basically, it automates browsers. That's it. So what you do with it is really up and entirely up to you. Um, boring web administration tasks and so forth can also be automated with it. For the environment to work, uh, we need two things. Number one, obviously, we need something like Anaconda. Uh, and a Python based um, system install so that what's that's what Anaconda is going to deliver to you and then we need to install a uh, Selenium additionally Anaconda doesn't come packaged with it so by literally just going on to um, all apps Anaconda 32-bit maybe open up your Anaconda prompt that brought this up here Anaconda prompt and then I, I just ran Anaconda install Selenium and make sure you are connected to the web and via proxy and things like that so that you can actually install uh, the Selenium module, Python module. Once that's installed, uh, your Python's ready. Uh, now there's a fantastic tool available for Selenium WebDriver that makes it possible for you to also simplify what I'm about to show you. But first of all, just using Selenium out of the box, um, there's nice tutorials like these for instance. Um, that will tell you how to install everything. I'm going to skip mostly all of this because it's not necessarily necessary to just get started. I'm going to scroll down to where we've got some code towards the end, how to create test scripts, for instance, in Selenium. Uh, here you can see in import all the necessary libraries or modules, for uh, which is Selenium itself, for Python. Uh, set a few variables here and then use the web driver itself, Selenium web driver, to open up, for instance, using Firefox, uh, open up a Facebook URL, find certain elements in there, like the email field, populate that with your username, find the password field, populate that with a password, and hit return so that you can log in. So that's great, but you have to actually go and have a look and see what are these elements uh, in the web browser itself. Find the element by ID called PASS. And we can automate this. There is uh, something called Selenium IDE. Uh, here's just a quick another link that someone mentions on how to install Selenium for the Python environment you've got. If you've got the Anaconda prompt, like I mentioned, just install Conda, install Selenium. You can even add the minus C Conda Forge. But otherwise, um, there is a nice little article on how to record and playback a simple test case in Selenium IDE. In Selenium, this, uh, the testing tool Selenium IDE is uh, usually used to develop test cases and can easily by means of us manually driving certain actions, record what we do. So to install that for a browser like Firefox or Chromium, I'm going to do it for Chromium, I would uh, click on this link here, Selenium HQ or download. Uh, go there, you'll see Selenium IDE is here in the middle, getting started, you can click on download itself. When you go to download, scroll down to where you see something like Selenium IDE, there is it. Selenium IDE and then you can just download the latest versions for Chrome or Firefox. If I click on Chrome, because I'm using Chrome, then you'll see here I've already installed it. So you would just have here installed Chrome minus remove from Chrome. So now with that running, I've got this additional extra little icon here at the top, Selenium IDE. And if I click on it, it tells me, well, come to Selenium IDE. What would you like to do? I then basically after restarting obviously the Chrome browser, browser if you um, installed the extension I would now basically say great um, let's start a new test in a new project click give it a name let's call it Google I'm just gonna run a Google query give a base URL where we need to surf over to so I'm gonna go www.google.com and say start recording with this now recording all my actions are recorded as well, so I'm going to type in there um, Pi Guy Raspberry Pi and Python training. Let's see what that brings up. There we go. So here we've got introduction to Python coding on Raspberry Pi and Linux. I'll click on that. Brings up the website. And let's now say, great, we're done. Selenium is still recording. Let's say we're done. So we click on 
um, this little let's say where is it now there's it okay so this is currently still open I click on the stop recording button I can give it a test name as well Google click on OK and fantastic now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this window I can even close the Selenium IDE okay uh, or maybe save it unless we've not saved it yet well it's not closed it let's use it as is so we've got this now there's another URL I've got your own code export uh, once you've got the Selenium IDE open and you've recorded your project you can basically do what I'm gonna gonna show you right now to actually export it for uh, Python specifically okay uh, so let's just pop it up there it is so the recording we just had called Google I can right click on that and well first of all let's just try it out let's just run it run the current test we see it opens up a new browser opens Google Google's for Pi by Raspberry Pi Python training and it basically repeats all the actions I did that's fantastic right so let's close that again now let's right click this export it and we export it for Python PyTest and I'll include our origin tracing code comments so we've got an idea of what got happened there click on export maybe call it test Google I'll put this maybe inside my users folder so see users Philip there we go save it there I had one there previously I'm gonna replace it fantastic so that's downloaded now with that downloaded I'm gonna open up that in uh, any kind of editor let's uh, use spider for instance so you can see here I've got users Philip test underscore google dot py this is how it looks like now there's one or two things I'm gonna fix up I'm going to get rid of the um, object oriented or just for the sake of testing here so take out the clause definition just keep in the code and then obviously I'll have to shift tab on that after highlighting everything and I'll have to take out the self which is part of the object orientation still so take out the self there self there self 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 Right. Okay, with this done, we might be able to run this and see whether we get to see any errors. Uh, we don't need variables, uh, but it's not going to break if you keep it in. Let's try and play this. It's going to tell me that the web driver exception Chrome driver executable needs to be in the path. Okay, so we still have an issue here, and I'm going to show you how to fix this quickly. Uh, that I saw in a video, uh, Python and Selenium using Chromium. So we're going to use the newer method, which is what is used today that's the old way of doing it so the new way of doing it is to actually download the Chrome web driver okay there it is Chrome web driver so let's have a look that's this page here so it's Google a Chrome or Chrome driver else all in this video in this video itself there is also a link to it down here there's a download link for Chrome driver program may be found here so that brought me here then it says click on um, downloads that is stable for Chrome driver. If I click on that, it brings up this page here. Okay, and in this page itself, you choose uh, Win32, the Chrome driver underscore Win32.zip. If you click on that and it downloads, okay, like this, you can basically just open it when done. Okay, there we go. It's opened it. I then right click copy this and I've created a different folder called um, Chrome Driver. Let's have a look. So in my users Philip downloads Chrome Driver file, I came and paste this file in here. It is also an executable. So look at this, it's an exe. So the full path to this would be this uh, path. See users Philip downloads Chrome Driver. To get it with this at the backslash Chrome Driver exe. And that is what I will be using in my code here. So I'm going to say Chrome uh, driver equals and basically paste that in there. Chrome driver dot exe. So this is the part we were lacking. And then here I can just say Chrome driver is what we're going to use. Right. So if I try it out now and I play this, it actually says there is a Unicode error. So I'm just going to put a raw literal. Uh, in front of that uh, let's play it again and we see it opens up and runs our code and basically Google's so let's just have a look and see whether this worked fine and whether it was an issue 
Oh, here we're quitting, that's why. So move the quit down to the bottom. If we need to. And let's just then start up Chrome. Go to this URL, set the window size to this, look for the element called Q for query, click on it, uh, send the following text to it as keys, Pi, Guy, Raspberry Pi, and Python training. Then press the enter key, and let's see if this works. So play it. Fantastic. And there we click on the second link. Right, that worked like an absolute charm. So I hope that's going to help you as well. It mentions here it ran it fine. So all is good. And we just basically automated a web action using Selenium. And the Selenium IDE to help us to record our actions and then play that back using Python. This is now obviously something that you can even uh, copy and paste using Jupyter Notebook or use directly from the command line. Uh, if I basically try and run this from the Anaconda prompt, so here we've got um, one test underscore google.com. If I run Python on test underscore google.py, it says even though I am actually not allowing access for this, it's still working. Opens Google, starts the search, and clicks on everything. So you can even export a CSV file like this, and at the end of the day, save it to a certain folder and just running this python script did everything for us i hope that um, helped you let me know if you've got any questions and otherwise uh, i will see you in the next video keep well